what happens to the human consciousness during sleep. Well, the consciousness receives a certain freedom and independence from the etheric body. The etheric body depends on the physical body and respectively it registers all processes that take place within the physical body. When we fall asleep, the physiological processes of the body don't stop, they only fade a little. Respectively, the connection between the etheric body and the physical body becomes weaker. Specifically, it just signals that the body is alive. Very well then. The body temperature goes down, the cerebral frequency lowers, as well as the heartbeat and all vital rhythms. In other words, the vital rhythm, which actually keeps track of the etheric body and controls it so that it doesn't disappear, becomes calm and steady. And the etheric body stops requiring such great attention to be paid to the physical body. Therefore, the close contact between the etheric and the astral bodies also breaks apart. The etheric body is like a sleeping guardian. At this moment, the astral body separates from the etheric body, although not completely, a connection along the silver cord does remain, but it gains freedom. At this time, it is not required to be registering the physical body or monitor its survival functions. It becomes free to explore the neighboring space. Due to its nature, the astral body is able to undergo self-repair, remove fears or negative emotions that possibly accumulated during the day through dreaming. All these things find a way out in the dream. If such don't exist and the astral body is cleaned out, then it starts snooping around the neighboring space. Not to forget that this space is not the physical one, it naturally is the astral space. This is why when we dream, we often land in other worlds. In dreams we come in contact with entities of a slightly different kind. We come in contact with our mentors and our familiars. It happens easily in our dreams. And what if someone is sleeping beside you? It makes no difference, the astral realm has nothing to do with the physical one. If the etheric body reads the person as safe, not as a threat, it will respectively forward the same signal to the astral body. You are free to go. This person is one of ours. And so the astral body starts to wander freely through other realms. And what if it is someone else? If it's a stranger, if you're on the train, for example, and you don't have any protective measures in place, something that would guard you from the stranger, then your etheric and astral bodies will remain alert, as it is a foreign energy. If the consciousness is healthy, it will not really fall asleep, it will only do so periodically.